Well, ladies and gentlemen, so today we are going to be doing our video on moon in Sastabishak Nakshatra, Pada 3. And what happens when your moon is in the sign of Aquarius, yet Nakshatra of Sastabishak, but Pada 3 of this Nakshatra. And all we are doing is simply narrowing down your thinking. How is it that you think? Because two people of the same zodiac sign don't think alike. Why? Because their moon might be in a different nakshatra, working behind the scenes of a zodiac sign known as constellations. But sometimes people of the same nakshatras, as in constellation, don't think alike because they might be in a different padha. Because there's four padhas to each nakshatra. So today we're discussing padha 3 of this uh, Sastabhishak nakshatra. And uh, as always, if you do not know where your moon is placed, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, what padha it's in, for that check out the links here and check out my full astrological report including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and aspects of the speed of light, including my new magazine on destiny and careers at this link here. So, I'm sure you might have, guys might have guessed, um, I have a cold. Uh, I'm running a fever. I don't know how I got out of bed, but it's something I have to do because I love working. I love giving you guys information. It's just my passion. So, if I don't film, me you now, I feel awkward. I'm like, man, you're not working. So that's why I'm making this video. So, what is Sastabishak Nakshatra? Sastabishak Nakshatra is a nakshatra known as for thousand physicians to the gods or hundred physicians to the gods. Medicine men, healers, healthcare practitioners, Ayurvedic doctors, scientists, photographers, you know, healers, astronomers, astrologers, all the higher thinking people, people who are thinking outside the box. That's what Sastabhishak Nakshatra is. And I've already made a video, a detailed video on Sastabhishak Nakshatra on YouTube. Please go watch that. And I've already made a video on what moon is like in the sign of Aquarius. You can go watch that. But this is simply the Pada 3 of the video. So Sastabhishak Nakshatra is all about um, not only just <coughs> solving problems of the world. It's about healing the world. It's about transforming the world. It's about bringing a new age type thinking into the world. These are the people who wants to go out and dissect, you know, um, viruses under a microscope. These are the people who want to discover the next cure for the diseases. These are the more people who want to discover the next planet, you know, out in, this, in the universe. The alien life, you know, they, they are great photographers, creative people. Because this is Nakshatra ruled by Rahu. But what happens in Pada 3? Well, in Pada 3, these people are all about social welfare and social reform. They're all about the scientific thinking. They're all about working in a group. They, the, the big thing about Pada 3 is they love working in a huge group. And they like to share ideas. They like to exchange ideas. And they like to bring everything around them to a new level through their technical insights, through their uh, spiritual insights, their occultic insights. Because Sastabhishak Nakshatra is a very powerful nakshatra, especially related to experiencing Kundalini. So these are the people who can transform, you know, their students to become light bodies and leave to another planet. I mean, this is a very, very mysterious, powerful nakshatra. But in Pada 3, you know, they're all about just doing something out of the box. They don't want to be confined by rules and regulations. They don't want to be disciplined and organized, okay? If they're disorganized, they don't care. You know, it's like uh, going, to, going into the office of Einstein. I mean, that thing is going to be a mess. His office is going to be full of paperwork. He probably doesn't, he'll have like coffee cups from two weeks before and all he's doing, he's just caring about his work. So that's what this Pata 3 is. They don't really care for how their surrounding is as long as the work is being done, okay? So guys, uh, this was my analysis of Moon in Sastabhishak Nakshatra Padha 3. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your moon is placed, what sign it's in, what Padha, and all your planetary placements, including my books and consultations and report, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll uh, see you tomorrow with Padha 4. Bye-bye.